welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I just finished an incredible workout at Jazzercise and did my grocery shopping for the week and I have a really exciting food find for you guys from Walmart. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, we would love to have you hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories, highly, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you'd like to talk with me directly. Links, discounts, all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group are also down in that description box. We have a fun haul, a new food find, so let's jump in. So here is this week's grocery haul. I actually did my own grocery shopping at Walmart and Trader Joe's this week. I have a very, very exciting Walmart food find. So let's jump into the grocery haul. I picked up a big box of Rice Krispies. I am making Rice Krispie treats with a fun spin on those in my meal prep on Monday. So I needed some Rice Krispies. We're having a barbecue with some friends on Saturday and we're gonna do burgers and hot dogs. So I grabbed some of the Great Value hamburger buns as well as some of the Great Value hot dog buns. Pound of 99% ground turkey. This is a four a dinner recipe. A big pack of cubed ham. I am making Troy's favorite macaroni salad this week. The recipe is on my recipe website if you're interested. Heads up, it's not WW friendly or calorie friendly, but it's a really good summer barbecue potluck type of macaroni salad. So I needed some cubed ham for that. A pound of ground chicken for dinner. A big block of sharp cheese. This is for the macaroni salad. I use this entire block in the batch of Troy salad. Butterscotch jello pudding. Now, originally I was going to buy pistachio, but Walmart, for some reason, you guys, their shelves were pretty bare. Not even just food, but clothes and really just about everything, which was quite interesting, but they didn't have any pistachio pudding at all. They only had chocolate sugar-free pudding. So I went ahead and grabbed just regular butterscotch pudding. Troy doesn't eat chocolate, my husband, and I wanted him to be able to enjoy the dessert I'm making for the week. So butterscotch pudding it is. Here's a new seasoning at Trader Joe's. This is their barbecue 101 seasoning. It is zero calories, zero point, and it has brown sugar, smoked paprika, dried roasted garlic, dried red chili pepper, salt, dried onion, and black pepper. So I think I'm going to use this on our burgers that we barbecue. Some sun-dried tomatoes, just dried, not in oil. The Trader Joe's ones are my favorite. This is for a dinner recipe this next week. Some dill relish for the macaroni salad for my husband, as well as for our barbecue. Sometimes we like to put relish on our burgers or our hot dogs. I actually picked up two cans of these sliced olives for the salad for Troy. Another thing is they had zero sliced olives other than this one brand in this one one size. Let me know down in the comments if you're finding the shelves pretty bare at your local Walmart. As a side dish for our barbecue with our friends, I'm going to make up these maple and cured bacon Bush's baked beans. Two cans of no salt added green beans for my dogs. If you didn't know, every time we have a meal, we give our dogs green beans in place of table scraps. They love them. And all we have to say is, do you want beans? And they get so incredibly excited. A bottle of what used to be two buck chuck at Trader Joe's. That's now over $3 chuck, but I picked this up for a couple dinner recipes. A big honey cured ham. Troy actually asked for ham just like in its full form that we can just slice into chunks for his lunch. He said he's over sandwiches for a while, so he's just going to take big chunks of ham and cheese. Some smoked sausages for our barbecue. We're gonna do burgers and sausages. Mini marshmallows, this is for my dessert meal prep. One third less fat cream cheese, this is for a recipe. A big container of Parmesan cheese. I need this for several, several recipes this next week, and it was just more affordable to buy the big container at Walmart. Here is my exciting new food find. These are skinny dipped bacon bits. So it says 63% less sugar, semi-sweet chocolate chips. Look at the top, no stevia, no sugar alcohols, and non-GMO. You can have one tablespoon or 14 grams for 70 calories. And here's what was really exciting. Take a look at these ingredients. It looks like it's sweetened with allulose instead of stevia 
or artificial sweeteners. So that's really exciting. Allulose is actually a natural sweetener that's derived from figs and raisins. So I'm thrilled to see that in these and I cannot wait to try these out. I will definitely use these in one of my dessert meal preps coming your way pretty soon, but excited to see these at Walmart. And they were $3.98, which is less expensive than Lily's and kind of on par with the baked believe. Just boring old elbow macaroni for Troy salad. A little half gallon of whole milk. I just need that for several recipes. So I picked up the half gallon. And a restock of my favorite coffee creamer. This is the Coffee Mate Funfetti. If you love birthday cake or cake flavored things, you will love this. It is so good. It's super sweet. So a little bit goes a long way. My favorite tortillas, the La Bandorita carb counter. I'm completely out after my breakfast tacos last week, which by the way, were amazing. So I picked up another pack. A big pack of my favorite eggs from Happy Egg. And look at how beautiful these dahlias are from Trader Joe's. This huge bunch was only $4.99. I had to pick it up. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. Everything else I have is produce. So some bananas just for fruits for the week. A big pack of celery. I need this for choice salad. And then I've been loving celery with peanut butter lately. So I picked that up. A couple of oranges for my breakfast meal prep. A tomato for my lunch meal prep a big pack of basil for recipes and meal prep, organic mint for my water. You guys know I love putting this in with my lemons or limes in my water. Some green onions for recipes and salads, some spinach for salads and also a dinner recipe, white mushrooms for a recipe. I decided to get grapes this week for a fruit. I don't know why, it just sounded really good. I also have a couple of dinners that call for shallots. So this two pack was only 99 cents at Trader Joe's. And last for food, I picked up the Trader Joe's organic wrap Radishes. This is for Troy's salad. And a non-food item is this set of drawers. This is for my closet for my makeup. Yes, I'm over full on my makeup vanity, so I need some additional storage space for palettes and things. I know. I know, don't come for me. I know I have a problem. So I picked those up at Walmart. So that is everything for this week's grocery haul. So let's go ahead and jump in to what I'm doing for dinners and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is this week's menu. This is the week of August 14th through August 20th. Today, Saturday, we are having a barbecue with our friends, which we're really excited about. Sunday, I'm making Italian chicken pasta. Now you will see this in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Monday is skillet lemon rosemary meatballs. This also sounds so delicious. Tuesday is a leftover night. Wednesday, I'm making corn dog muffins. Like I'm coming back to my childhood and I'm excited about it. Thursday is skillet chicken and mushroom sauce. And then Friday, we always do a leftover night to try to finish up all of the leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm so excited for this. For breakfast, I'm making homemade orange rolls. So these are an orange take on a cinnamon roll and they sound incredible. Lunch is going to be caprese chicken burgers. And then for dessert, I was originally, like I said, in the grocery haul making a pistachio pudding rice krispie treat, but I couldn't find pistachio. So now we're doing a butterscotch pudding rice krispie treat. So stay tuned on Monday for all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on another WW grocery haul. Let me know down in the comments about the shelves at your local Walmart. And if you've tried these new chocolate chips, I'm curious how they compare to Lily's. If you enjoyed this grocery haul, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. You're not going to want to miss it. Bye!